In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to run our app on an iOS simulator. To do this, you need a Mac. If you don't have a Mac, don't worry. You can still run the app on your phone, whether it's an iPhone or an Android phone. You can also run the app on an Android virtual device, which I'm going to show you in the next lesson. Now, I want you to install Xcode. You can get it from the App Store. So open our App Store and search for Xcode. Here you can get the latest version. Xcode is a large app, so installing it is going to take a while, perhaps 20 to 30 minutes, depending on your internet connection. Once you install Xcode, run it, and then go to Xcode Preferences. On this window, go to the Locations panel and make sure you have installed the latest command line tools. Now we can start an iOS simulator. So let's close this window. We go to Xcode, Open Developer Tool, Simulator. So here's our iPhone simulator. We can move it around. We can resize it. We can change the type of this device by going to File, Open Device. Under iOS, you can see various iOS devices. For example, we can start on iPhone 8. This is going to start a second simulator. Now, unfortunately, at the time of recording this video, Expo gets confused when you have multiple iOS simulators running. So I'm going to close this iPhone 8. I'm going to use this iPhone 11. Now we go to Metro Bundler and run our app on the iOS simulator. We can also run it in VS Code by pressing I in the terminal window. So this is going to start our project in iOS simulator. The first time you're going to see this message popping up, open in Expo. So let's open it. So this is the Expo client that you installed on your phone. Let's close the welcome message. And here's the output of our app. We have this text in the center of the screen. Now let me show you something really cool. I'm going to put this on the side and open our project on the left side. Now let's change the text here to hello world. Now the moment I save the changes, our app is going to refresh. Take a look. Save. And here's the hello world message. This is one of the powerful features of React Native called Fast Refresh. So we can see our changes as soon as we save. We don't have to wait for native builds to finish. Now, in this iOS simulator, we can bring up the developer menu by pressing Command and D. Now, unfortunately, this does not work on my machine anymore. I think this happened after I upgraded my Xcode. So I figured out to make this work, I have to press Control D first and then Command D. So this is the developer menu I was talking about. This is part of Expo Client. So here we can reload our app. So in case something goes wrong and fast refresh doesn't work, we can manually trigger a reload. We can also copy the link to clipboard. We can go to home. So here we can see other Expo projects we're working on. At the moment, we have a single project and it's here. So let's get back to it. So you can bring up the developer menu by pressing Control and D and then Command and D like this. So this is all about the iOS simulator. Next, I'm going to show you how to run this app on an Android virtual device.